What do you think about crunch, crunch and night cheesy? I love it, it's a very different concept. Loving it, keep it up, let's go. My name is Matthew Wilshire, I'm the acting CEO of Etisalap and I love crunch. I love crunch. I love crunch. I'm on crunch and I watch crunch all the time. I eat crunch too. And I love crunch. Rookie Sander happens to be a woman in the class of her own, like I said. I mean, she's multi-talented, she's amiable, she's gorgeous, she's intelligent. For the very first time when I stumbled into Rookie Sander, I was like, wow, she's got huge courage and so humble. Nice to have you on the show, oh, Ricky. Good to have you on Crunch. Thank Exciting, you. nice outfit put together. To <laughs> you look very casual, nice. Very on point, I'd say. Thank you. So, I mean, what inspired your style for this interview? What inspired my style is just lunch. <laughs> You want to keep it simple? Yeah, keep it simple and comfortable, basically. Beautiful, beautiful. I like the mixed match of colors. Black and gold, all the way. Excited to have Ruki Sanda on the program, Crunch. Yeah. This is Crunch on IGZ. Ruki, you're here at Oriental Hotels. First of all, I mean, what's your impression of this edifice? Beautiful, I like the lights, like I said, yeah. Okay, now, Ruki Sanda, multi-award winning actor. Ruki Sanda is a producer a director, a script writer. I mean, you're different personalities in one. But for Rookie, how would Rookie describe herself? I'm enjoying my work right now, even though it's very stressful and I barely have time for anything. I don't think I really have a social life anymore. But it's all worth it at the end of the day, so. Now, what has it been like being a Nollywood actor? Let me start from being in front of the cameras. It's been a very wonderful learning experience. It's been a very long journey for me to get to this point and decide on what I really want to do with my work, with the acting and going into production and you know writing, directing and first number me marketing. <laughs> I just it's, for me it's more the production part for me is more of the business because I'm a business person first. I keep saying it all the time. And acting, acting is just acting is basically what you know open the doors for me to do all this other stuff that I'm learning, that I'm really interested in, you know, the art of filmmaking and all that, so. Okay, yeah, beautiful. It's been a wonderful experience. So beautiful, far. beautiful. While you were growing up, did you anticipate being an actor? You had always wanted to be a Nollywood actor or... Oh, no, you, I The passion <laughs> just came, came over you over no, time? No, Nollywood just came. Yeah. Over time? Not over time, it just happened. Nollywood wasn't like, movies wasn't my first my first, I knew I wanted to be on TV, obviously, but at the, I think at first I wanted to be like a model, but then that went, and I wanted to be a singer, but my voice sucked. And then I wanted to be, what I wanted to do ultimately, I wanted to be a video like so I wanted to be a video wow. like and all that. When you told them you wanted to attempt something in Nollywood, how did they, did they find it interesting? Was it welcoming? Were they overwhelmed by your choice of being an actor, or they were a bit, they were skeptical, kind of. I mean, what? I was like, they thought I was joking. It was just a joke to them. Like, yeah, okay, you're not doing anything right now. School is on strike. Okay, she wants to do something. So basically, that was what it was at the time. And I think I did um, this TV show, um, Heaven's Gate. Yeah, I did Heaven's Gate. I think that was the first thing my dad saw. And he was like, okay. Oh, like, oh, like, well done. Like, okay, thank you. And that was that. And my mom, when I wanted to start producing, she was just very supportive because she was like, okay, at least you're going into another kind of business. So, it was good. Beautiful. And my cousins were always just laughing, like, ah, yeah, 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 whatever. They were just laughing at me, like, actress. Mm. Like it was just, it was just, nobody took it seriously. Seriously, okay. He wouldn't yeah, I didn't take it seriously in the beginning. So it's been a long journey. It's been, it's been like I said, a learning experience. You're watching Crunch on Nigeria. I love this show. 
Nice to have you join me. This is still Crunch on Nigeria. Today we seek to celebrate the different practitioners have contributed immensely to Nollywood. We get to meet and greet Nollywood directors, producers, actors, scriptwriters, marketers. I mean, the list is just endless. Kudos to all those people who have been able to make Nollywood a global phenomenon. One of such is Rookie Sander. Rookie Sander happens to be on Crunch today. Nice to have you, Rookie Sander, again. The program is still Crunch. For Nollywood, you've been a practitioner in Nollywood for close to nine years, ten years. There are so many challenges in Nollywood and the fact that Nollywood producers are still able to churn out good movies. If you're looking at Nollywood lately, it's evolved. I mean, we're competing with... Well, no, it's still evolving, but you can't compare Nollywood to what it was 10 years back. I mean, your movies, your, your, your movies are, are, are... I mean, they're worth the while. But for you, producing movies, how do you... How do you get to finance your movies? Nollywood movies are produced in shoestring budgets and they're off the hook. I've watched a few movies from Rookie Sanders' tables. How do you get to finance your movies? Do you have corporate organizations financing that? I mean, I got those questions on Twitter, so mm -hmm. I'm asking the horses now. I don't. So how do you finance I your movies? I'm a business person. I work. I do business apart from movies. I sell stuff. So, and I do interior decor. Okay. Yeah. Not for everybody. For those that can pay. <laughs> so yeah. Somehow, I, somewhere, I, you just cope with the challenges. Mm -hmm. And basically, I that's why I shoot at my convenience, and you know, I just put my movie money into my list. So basically, that's just why. It's, 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 I mean, so a couple of people have um, corporate organizations, you know, financing their films. I've been approached by a few, but um, maybe probably the terms did not work, and maybe they just call you now and. They just want you to write the script in like two days just because I want to bring money. I, I can't I can't work like under pressure like okay. that. I have mm, stress I'm dealing with trying to do get a good content. So I, I I just I just like to do things at my own time and my convenience. Thank you, Sandra. Um your movies seem to be very different. I wouldn't say totally different, but the storylines are always on point. Do you write your script? Do you write your stories? So you're a script writer, not just a director, yeah. producer, actor. Yeah, I write all of them. All of them. All the movies you've shot were written by you. Yeah. So how do you script write? I mean, multi-tax script write, direct, produce, act. I'm different Ooh. people at different times. I do like I. I'm different people at different times. When I'm writing, I'm this closed person. I'm in my room, in different corners, just corner of the floor. There, 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 there. You know. I, I'm just, I don't want anybody around. I'm, I'm just very into myself and focused on that. And then when I'm producing, I'm more of the hustle, hustle, juggle, juggle mind. And when I'm acting, I, I try to just focus on the character. And when I'm directing, I'm like, okay, this is what you need to do, blah, 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 blah. So. And everybody has to be professional at it. They yeah. have no choice whatsoever. <laughs> okay. Don't mess with me. I don't like that. But I know everybody's everybody's like, How do you cope with the controversies and the scandals? At that time you sit back and you feel laid back, you feel depressed you know, or funny thing, I'm how never do you cope with all of that? On that on that kind of level. Never ever. I Mostly I don't get to see these things. I tell people every time. And people that know me, they know not to bring that bowl to my face because they know I will not. Take they like know me. not to bring that bowl to my face. So basically it's, it's just here, here, here. And most of these things I get to hear them at interviews and stuff. I don't... I don't read blogs like that. I only read Nico Bichi <laughs> once in a while. So I'm not, I, I don't get to hear most of the time. So Rookie Sander, what's your age? <laughs> oh no, I wish it's I didn't have to. No, but seriously, I, I wish, I wish I didn't have to. I wish I, this is not for me. I wish I didn't have to. I mean, they asked me to host you, so. Okay, I'm going to give you like, uh, they're cool. Okay. Yeah, they're cool. We don't want to go round and round circles, Ricky. We don't want to go round and round circles. That's what I'm going to give you. So it's going to be, let's well, say from 29 to 32 circle. Yeah. 29 to 32? Wow, yeah. wow, wow, guess. Oh. 
I can't and place I'm my finger. Going to answer it. I can't place my finger. Yeah. Okay, fine. It means I'm going to get back to them and tell them. Okay, rookie, rookie decided not to answer the question as regards her age. Do you guys believe cool, me? cool, right? I just give it a circle. Pop, 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 pop. I'm not good at making guesses, you know. You have to guess. They asked you. You asked me. Okay. So I've answered you. Okay. So, so the answer is. There is a circle between twenty nine thirty two. Yeah. I'm really amazed. You look way younger. Okay. Yeah, but I thought I looked the same, but today you said 26, so I'm going to stay with 26. So, what are the plans you have for 2014? I mean, what, what, what should we expect from you? What do you intend to achieve in 2014? Well, Someone is... asked me a question, does she intend to get married in 2014 and stuff? You know, it's just a normal thing to ask. So, we keep asking you now. I'm one of friends with John, which I think I'm going to release in February. You've done, you've done more than a couple, we've done a lot of jobs. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky, for Nollywood, yeah. I still want to, I still, I still need you to expatiate more on your relationship. How do you get to relate with the other Nollywood actors, your colleagues in the industry? I'm, I'm actually, I think I'm one person that's cool with everybody. Except I've not met them. Or except I have a reason not to be cool with them. But so far, I'm cool with everyone. I miss. Hello, everybody. Hi, hi. So I'm, I'm cool with everybody. I don't have any problems with anybody. Beautiful. Now, I want you to send a message to people out there, people who love you so much. I want to see more of you. They want to see more of your TV productions. They want to see more of your films. They want to see more of Rookie in the spotlight, positivity. I want to send messages to them, your fans, your admirers, people who love you. I love you guys. Keep watching my films, supporting the production, and buy DVDs. Yes, you have to buy because we're making the film with money. You know, I get, I get, I get some crazy you messages. Can, you know, you're, I'm you're, you, you're I'm, exactly. so, I'm telling you, I get some crazy messages like when you put some like, when you put some like, um, oh, this movie is out now. So it's like, oh, what can I watch it online? What can I download it online? I'm like, what? Are you kidding? No, you know, the world is going to be tilted into that technology. No, the world is free. But in the, in the, you the get it for free. You need a true fan, you need to buy, you need to support us. That's how yeah, that's true. you're a true fan. When people say, oh, you, you're, you're, you're nowhere without your fans, we made you who you are, buy my film. Get that's to the market, get to the stores. I am. You okay. Know. Yeah, but okay. thank you so much for all the love and support and everything. I appreciate it. You too can be a part of the program. All you need to do is visit our website at www.nigizi.tv. We're open to your contributions, your suggestions, name it. Visit our website, like us on Facebook, visit our Twitter pages, find us across different social media platforms, all at Nigizi TV. Special thanks to everyone who has made this program a huge success. Wow, the Japanese restaurant here at Oriental Hotels. Mm. Splendid. It's been fantastic. What more can I say? My name is Ofai Samuel. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a nice time out and stay connected.